Gehad and I worked on five books before, and this is the sixth one. And in a way, I feel that I needed to make those five books to finally enter another level. So to me, this book now feels like it's my first book of this next level. In this series, I was working more in abstracting the presence. I was working in seeing the reflections of her all around us. Um, the house was in a way a house of illusions because there were so many of her and my reflections all over. And in a way, that's what I was pointing the camera at. And we would have to observe how the shadows flow into the space and that balance all the reflections of the harsh light from outside into the glass, then reflected inside through her body and with the shadows. I wanted to push further into this abstraction of the figure. So the foil is an element that would only reflect what we had there. So it reflected the sky, it reflected the sand, it reflected some elements of her. We wanted to bring that experience into the book. There's a certain solitude in the desert. There's a certain emptiness there. So I thought it was really important to have in this series, that solitude expressed into one person. And that person could have been maybe the, the first person there ever to exist, or the last one still remaining. I think I have a need to be with people. I don't like to be alone. In wanting that and in feeling comfortable with each other, we eventually end up creating work because that's what I know what to do, so that's what ends up happening. I think the strength of my work is in the relationship that I have with the person and in what we created together. The idea of the book is that it could have been all something you imagined in your mind and it never actually existed.